You don't know how lucky you are that the Authority hasn't found you yet. <laughs> if the Authority catches you and you don't have anything they need, you'll be dead. Rage is a first-person shooter foremost, but it's definitely got an adventure kind of exploration aspect. And it's not an RPG, but it's got that flavor and that feeling, and it's just much more in-depth than you'll ever get out of a normal first-person shooter. You know, you can kind of involve your mind in more than just your trigger finger. Bad guys in the world, you know, we have everything. There's some bandits around the corner. <clears throat> Do what you can. The bandits are considered to be more the violent settlers that aren't really economically inclined, but they have desires and needs. Each bandit clan has a unique fighting style. It's ever-changing. For instance, the ghost clan. Hey, over there! They're very acrobatic. They can attack you from above or below. The wasted clan. What they lack in combat skills, they definitely make up for in personality. The Shrouded Clan, they've designed these remote control bomb cars that they use against you. We felt that with human type opponents, if you add personality to the fighting skills and add personality to the characters, it really makes the world more refreshing. We're losing this! But if you fight that enemy for 12 hours, I don't care how cool he was in hour one, it's not gonna be so cool in hour 12. So it's about mixing it up for the player. Not reinventing the rules, but give them something a little different around every corner. So that's what we strive to do. The Wasteland has a number of mutants. So there's a bit of mystery to where the mutants came from. Some people believe that the cosmic radiation and the impact winter affected human development. But some people believe that the authority were conducting experiments on humans, and the failures were, of course, the mutants. Then, of course, there's the authority. You don't really get to understand or know what they're about until later in the game, and they've kind of twisted this new reality to be what it is that the player will eventually find out as he gets to the end of the game. These guys are battle-hardened military badasses. They have full body armor. They can coordinate with other squads. They have heavy weapons. When you go from fighting mutants with sticks to bandits with pistols to facing off against the authority, it's a different experience. These guys are tough, and they mean business. It is famous for having incredible graphics. So I wanted to have this real combat feel to it. Remember, to be of use to us, you must be able to move around freely. We decided to kind of make animations using motion capture. In Rage, we have upwards of 6,000 animations that have been created. One type of character may have 300, 400, 500 animations to go with them. By applying those animations, the character is starting to look a lot more interesting. You also look interesting. When you're actually in combat with an AI, they have multiple layers themselves. When you shoot at the enemy, they'll actually react to the shot. So they'll freak out and they get into this scramble mode where he's running around trying to save his life and then dive into cover. And this is not really scripted, it's just based on or what you've done to the enemy, which will change the AI state, and then they will play these different state of animations. And you can interact with them at the time they're doing that, so it's not like they're just stuck in that particular animation. You can shoot them and kill them, and everything happens as you would expect. And all these things work seamlessly together to really make our AI stand out and feel like they're part of the world in a way that you haven't seen the first-person shooter before. Well, enough with all that. When a player is interacting in a combat scenario, the important thing to do is give them choices. And there should never be a dead point when they're only thinking, oh, I'm just holding the trigger down to kill these guys. Unpredictability and the element of surprise makes a great enemy. It's when you enter a room, you think you know the situation, and the AI does something that you don't expect. Because I don't want them thinking of it as AI. I want them to think, wow, that's the best combat experience I ever had. Tell me what you can do, and get the hell out of here. 